Okay, so we are now at the second lecture for categorical data analysis. So let's have a review of hypothesis testing. So uh, these are the steps in constructing a hypothesis testing. So for number one, uh, state H O and H A. H O is what we call the null hypothesis, wherein uh, it is a statement with equality. And H A be the alternative hypothesis, wherein it is the complement of the null hypothesis. Uh, for the next step, we have uh, state alpha. Alpha is what we call the level of significance, wherein it is the probability of a type 1 error. So we know that a type 1 error is uh, an an error uh, in which we reject the null hypothesis when it is true and then for the third step to so state the statistical test and then for number four we compute the p-value so we will use a statistical software for us to compute uh, the p-value in a convenient way and then for number five we have the decision so the decision would be a reject or fail to reject each o so we will focus on the null hypothesis rather than the alternative hypothesis and then lastly we have the conclusion so for the conclusion we state um, a statement uh, in which uh, we have an evidence of rejecting or fail to reject the claim. Okay, so we will now proceed at testing proportions. So for number one, uh, we have testing for uh, pro uh, testing proportions for a single uh, sample. So we have a one sample um, test for a proportion P. So P is the parameter that we need to test. So we have three cases for testing P. So if uh, P is equal to P sub zero, P less than or equal to P sub zero, or P greater than or equal to P sub zero. So in testing proportions or testing proportion P, the statistical test that we will use is the so-called Z test. Now, the condition for us to use the z-test, we have uh, np must be greater than or equal to 5 and nq must be greater than or equal to 5. Now, the, the test statistic that we will use to estimate the population proportion is the sample proportion p-hat. So, for example, a researcher claims that less than 40% of U.S. cell phone owners use their phone for most of their online browsing. In a random sample of 100 adults, 31% say they use their phone for most of their online browsing. At alpha equal to 0 0.01, is there enough evidence to support the researcher's claim? 
So for this example, we will use the software Stata to arrive the p-value for our um, conclusion in the uh, given problem. So to do that, you go first to statistics and then summaries, tables, and tests. After that, you go to classical tests of hypothesis and then you look for proportion test calculator. So you click that. So this will appear and then you click one sample. So you will have this kind of dialog box and then input the necessary information. So in the problem, the sample size here is 100. The sample proportion was 31. So we will write 0 0.31. For hypothesized proportion, that is 0 0.4. And then, since we have alpha equal to 0 0.01, we will use 99% confidence level. So after that, you click OK. So this will appear now notice that uh, the software give three alternative hypotheses we have P less than 0.4 P not equal to 0.4 and P greater than 0.4 Looking back in our problem, so our claim was um, P less than 0.4. So that means this statement will be included in the alternative hypothesis so we will look at P less than 0.4 so below this statement we have the P value so it says here that the value was 0 0.0331 so this value is greater than the designated level of significance that is 0 0.01 meaning uh, we need to fail to reject HO So that means um, the claim is not uh, supported at the 0 0.01 level of significance. So for number two, we have testing the difference between proportions. So for our possible HO, uh, we have three cases. One, we have P1 equal to P2, where P1 and P2 be the two parameters of the two samples. We also have P1 less than or equal to P2. 
and P1 greater than or equal to P2. Also, uh, we have their uh, alternative hypothesis. So, if this is the null hypothesis, so its complement would be this. Uh, for this statement, so the complement is this. And if this is your HO, so this will be, or this must be your HA. And then for the statistical test, we will use Z test. So provided that uh, N1 times P1 is greater than or equal to 5, N1 Q1 greater than or equal to 5, N2 P2 greater than or equal to 5, and N2 Q2 greater than or equal to 5. And the test statistic would be P1 hat minus P2 hat. So, for example, a study of 150 randomly selected occupants in, per in passenger cars and 200 randomly selected occupants in pickup trucks shows that 86% of occupants in passenger cars and 74% of occupants in pickup cars wear seat belts. At alpha equal to 0.10, can you reject the claim that the proportion of occupants who wear seat belts is the same for passenger cars and pickup trucks? Okay, so to run the analysis using Stata, so we will go to Statistics, Summaries, Tables, and Tests classical tests of hypotheses and then look for proportion test calculator so after that you click to sample so you will see this kind of dialog box so for sample one so the size was 150 the proportion was 86% uh, so we have 0.86 for sample 2 we have 200 and then for proportion we have 0.74 and then for the confidence level since alpha is 0.10 we will use 90% confidence level and then you click OK So as you can see, uh, there will be again uh, three different HA. So for this one, we have the difference. So P1 minus P2 is less than zero. For this HA, so P1 minus P2 equal to zero. And P1 minus P2 greater than zero in the given problem um, we need to test if the proportion of occupants who wear seat belts is the same for passenger cars and pickup trucks so meaning the claim is included in the null hypothesis so p1 equals p2 that means your each a would be uh, p1 not equal to p2 
or P1 minus P2 not equal to 0. So we will choose this as our uh, basis for conclusion. So below the given statement HA is the P value. So as we can see, the value is 0 0.0062. So, this is less than 0.10. That means um, we need to reject HO. So, we will conclude that uh, the proportion of occupants who wear seat belts is not the same for passenger cars and pickup trucks so there is a sufficient evidence to reject the claim